Hi folks, today I'm going to be doing the first 75 parts on the new mini mill behind me and they are this bottle opener. This is a nice part to get started with. I'm going to do 75 of them, anodize them, then engrave our logo on the top and take them to the Melbourne's Classic or other shows uh, just to have as kind of merchandise uh, to sell. So let's go through the setup, um, a bit about the programming and then get started on making them. So the machine actually came with a Kurt DX6M vice. Use that for a bit, however I've now swapped out for a fixture plate and a dual station mod vice from Saunders Machine Works. Um, so this will be the first time probably trying that out and seeing how it goes. Um, I'll do a whole bit separate video on this system, how I've mounted it to the machine, why I went with this particular fixture plate. Um, and my thoughts and thought process surrounding it. However, for the bottle opener, what we'll be doing is op one on this side with the talon grips, and then op two on this side with the non-marring inserts. Here is an op one part, which I made earlier. Uh, so that'll be sat like that. We then flip it over, secure it in that side, and place a new bit of material uh, on that side of the vise. Torque these two sides down and then press go. So I'm going to make sure they're lined up where I need them. The op one block is just centered in the vise. And then op two is actually offset slightly to the left. And then coming with the torque wrench and torque this to 20 newton meters is what I'm trying at the moment. There we go. Cool. All right, let's head over to programming and have a look at that. Right, so for op one, the first thing I'm gonna do is use a 10 mil to rough most of the outside, use the same 10 mil to finish the outside profile and then use the face mil to face the top. Then we'll switch to the 6mm end mill, rough out the hook and finish the same area. Then do the same on the inside pocket, rough that out and rough out a probe bore, finish that bore and then finish the inside. And so this probe bore will be used to locate the part on the second op once we flip it over. Moving on to a 3mm slot drill to machine these slots and then finish the walls before we go in with a drill to drill the keyring hole. And then finally we can chamfer the outside edges with a 0.8mm chamfer and the inside edges with a 0.5mm chamfer. And then break these two edges with a very small chamfer just so they're not sharp. Then moving on to op 2, going to use the probe bore I mentioned earlier to probe that surface to locate the part. Uh, we can come in and then face off the top of uh, remaining material. Then back to the 3mm slot drill to slot the uh, spoke key slots. Finishing again and then doing the rear slot. Again finishing and finally the chamfers. Same as before. So let's go and make that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So there we are folks, that is a bottle opener done, ready to go and open some bottles. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's go and put it down there with the others. I've got another 50 more to do, so I'll catch you in a bit.